Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about the techniques I use to handle the loss of red light when I drop my camera down through the water column. Um, as you know, whenever you drop a camera down through the water column, the deeper you go, the less light you have. And the, and the first color that we lose in the light spectrum is red. And we start losing that in like five feet of water. Now before I forget, if you want to help me out and you like my videos, please click the like button down below. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Now, the techniques I use, the first one I've already talked about, I can either handle the color correction in post-production, and in my case, I'm using Premiere. When I pull that video out of the camera, though, it's usually very green, or if I'm down on the Florida Keys, it's going to be very bluish green. Now, the other option is to use a filter. So, in this case, I have my Acaso camera that I have. I couldn't find a filter that I liked, but I found this on Amazon. And it's just a filter kit that goes onto a GoPro 10. And so, of course, it didn't fit on my Acaso camera, but I just epoxied it on there because the only time I use this case is whenever I'm shooting my fish videos. So I epoxied it on there and it worked well. I used it the whole time I was down in Florida. And so there's a magnet that, that clamps this on. If, if you were a diver, you would want to open this up depending on where you were at. And then it comes with a couple 58 millimeter screw on lenses, depending on how deep you are. There's one for depths down to 20 feet and then one for 20 to 50. Um, this worked pretty well. I was pretty happy with the performance on this. Now, I will say right up front though, putting a filter on your camera is also going to reduce the light, which can be problematic because we're, we're going down into the water column and we're losing light the deeper we go. And then we're going to put a red filter on that's even going to cause us to lose more light. Now, the color correction worked really well though, and I'll show you in the videos later in this video how that, that worked out, but it did do really well. I had to increase the exposure though to be able to compensate for the light I was losing with the filter. Now, for my GoPro, I ended up using this Flip, Professional Filters for GoPro. It's made by Flip Filters. Now, this worked really well. Um, it worked better than I thought it was going to work. Now, this is part of the Flip Filter system, and you can put two filters on these, but I only put one because that's all I can use. I can't. If you are a diver, you could put them both on and flip them down. Um, I just used the one, though and it locks down in place. So as you can see, these filters are relatively thick and I thought that they would cause distortion in the video. I was wrong. I think these actually worked really well. I was really happy with their performance. Um, they do a really good job now. Um, when I was up in Tarpon Springs, the water's not so deep. There's a lot of good light um, and you're only in 10 feet of water. This filter, is, it works perfect. Um, when you get deeper down like in and you're in the skyway bridge where you have a lot of particulate matter and so you're already blocking a lot of light you're going to lose light when you put these filters on so you need to be prepared to compensate for that now the last thing that i did is i used a light i purchased this 5000 looms led light uh it's it's underwater it's a dive camera uh, or dive light sorry and it's made by suptig s-u-p-t-i-g this worked great. I was really happy with the performance on this. Um, the only, there are a couple things you need to be aware of. There were complaints that this camera was, um, it would stop working after a couple dives. Now I use this for five days running every day, all day long, no problems. And I use it in the daytime too. Uh, I mean, that's primarily why I use it because I'm just compensating for the loss of red light. Now, if you look on the back, there's this plug that covers up the USB port that you charge the light with. Then there's a little gasket on here. You need to make sure the gasket is on the plug correctly, and you need to make sure that you have the plug screwed on all the way correctly. If you do that, and at least my experience with the one I bought, these work great. Now, the videos that I pulled out, and I shot this exclusively with my GoPro, the GoPro 7 Black that I use, they came out uh, really well done. The, the, the colors, I shoot kind of a neutral color scheme, and so I do the color 
correction and post are uh, like adding vibrance and saturation and all that and post-production perfect right works great uh, the drawback is there's a couple drawbacks first of all this will light up all the stuff that's floating by in the water um, if that's okay and I mean for me I, it's an acceptable thing for me as long as there's not too much um, that was okay the other thing is let's say this shines out let's say it shines out five feet ten feet whatever it is through the water it's going to cut through so much water well whenever it gets to that point where the light is dimmed far enough well you're not going to see anything and so with normally if i have my camera out there i'll see some shadows or something in the background right well with this if it's beyond the, the light you won't see it at all so you get really good colors but you don't get the same range i think with the other uh, with the other with the filters or without the filters but to be honest with you i'm really leaning towards using the light i'm thinking about getting a couple more of these and using them with all my cameras because it works really really well i was really happy so let's go take a look at some video and see what it looks like for real. So this is a video I shot off the end of the Skyway Bridge Pier on the south side. So I'm in about 20 feet of water, middle of the daytime, and you can see it is very, very green. Now all is not lost. We just put this in Premiere. I do a little color correction. You can do color correction, whatever software you're using, and this is what I get out. Now I've still got green and really my reds aren't really as nice as I'd like them to be, but this is what I can get it to. Now this video was shot using the red glass screw on filters, the first red filters that I showed you. And as you can see, I mean, this is, it's turning it slightly red. Now I'm dropping this at the same time that I dropped the, the other camera that had no filter on it. And as we drop through the water column, you're going to see that there's still green introduced into the video. It's just not quite as bad. Now, to be fair, the, the filter I had on there was made for a little shallower water. I'm probably in, I'm in 20 feet of water for sure. And this was probably made to go down to 10, 15 feet. So, so we still got green, but I can color correct this. And this is what I get after I do the color correction. So there's a little bit more red in the video uh, on the fish. So it, it looks a little nicer um, and, and I just like it. It's, it's easier to do the color correction actually with that filter on than it was with just the straight green video. And this is up in Tarpon Springs. So I'm in about 10 feet of water and the water is very clear, but this is using the backscatter flip filter, which is currently on. I included this video though because you're going to see the filter actually flip up in the water column um, and the, the magnet didn't stay down. I didn't have it secured all the way, but you can see that that water without the flip filter is actually going to be pretty green. Even with the shallow and the light that we have, the filter helps with the color correction quite a bit. Now in this video, I'm back out on the skyway. I've just dropped this into the water and you'll see going through the water column my color doesn't change at all and I'm shooting in a very neutral color scheme and I will actually do the color correction on this but you can see this looks really good I'm really happy with this and with some minor color corrections this is what I can get and literally what I've done is I've added some vibrance and saturation to this and then I, uh, I used a, a curve to actually provide a little bit more contrast so the blacks are blacker and the whites are whiter and this is what I can get to with using the light and you can see the colors on the fish uh, they look just perfect I'm, I'm really happy with how this turns out now we talked about the drawback on the light and you can see as we get outside of that view of the light or that where that light's cutting through the water you don't really see anything but it, it's a nice transition and really and in this case, being out on the Skyway Bridge Pier, you're not going to catch a whole lot uh, out there because of the particulate matter. You're not going to be able to see incredibly far in the water. So the light's worth it. And as you can see, there's also, you can, I mean, it's very noticeable, all the particulate matter in the water. But it, it it's fine. I think it looks good. So hope you found this video useful for those of you who are going to go off and shoot your own underwater video. And hope everybody enjoyed this video. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.